Hey. Let's see if that fixed it. You guys are gonna have to tell me if it's, uh, jumpy or not. It's a little better in game for me at least. How's the stream seem? Yeah, actually that's a lot better. Alright, what were we working on? Combat medic? We need to do some crafting. Let's see, what do we need here? Fiberplast and wild wheat. This is gonna be a really exciting stream, guys. We're gonna do out. We're gonna finish out the uh, combat medic crafting grind. <laughs> somewhere we can actually see people. High octane gaming, exactly. Let's see if we can knock it out in one day. So we actually already qualify for this skill. Are we capped? No, we're not capped. We should probably train. Uh, we should actually find a combat medic trainer. Wait, I have one. I always forget that. Hey, Adel. You don't often catch my stream, it's because I don't often stream. But, uh, welcome. A couple years ago at QuakeCon, friend of yours live streamed him grinding an entertainer during the con as a joke. I mean... If we end up going for every profession badge, eventually that's gonna happen. See, the whole point of this stream is I'm trying to I'm trying to draw more players in. So we gotta show them the real highlight of SWG gaming. And that's crafting. Alright, so I got my alt here. Let's invite him. Uh, what's the name of the skill? Oh, this is the crafting branch. Whoa, I am so used to the doctor crafting branch being the fourth branch, but this is crafting. Herder, I can read. Alright, so we're not ready to train yet. We still have this much to go. Alright, so we actually already have the first skill. Well, let's get cracking. Here's what we're gonna do. I don't use a crafting macro. I do it all by hand. We just have to position our windows appropriately. Make sure I get in the uh, practice mode here for increased XP. We're gonna reposition everything for optimal mouse movement. That's it, it's that easy. needed. In 
unfortunately. It looks like we could use one more crafting tool. We burned through that a little quickly. I don't think you can make ABC or a... Uh... Oh, you can. Alright, cool. I can use a generic crafting tool. Um, but I don't... I think that's it. Great. Alright. Let me see if this is enough. The goal is to have as many crafting tools as it takes you to do, like, a whole cycle through them. So by the time I get to my last tool, the timer on the first tool should be expired. I can already tell that's not going to be the case. No, this tool still has four seconds, so ideally we would need one more tool. XP monitor on, too, so we can see how close we are to the next skill. Let's do that now. Oh, so it's actually there already. Alright, advanced combat medicine crafting, so that's what we're going for. So what have you been playing lately, Mirkov? I don't want to know. I think I already know the answer then. Does it start with an L and end with an Edgins? That too, but not what you meant. Does it start with an S and end with a WOTOR? <laughs> hey, Rifleman. You say you know, but that was the highest voted series for me to do my next YouTube series. RS? Old School RuneScape? I've never played RuneScape. I think he sent me a tell. This dude needs training. Sorry. 
The Thorian needed medic training. Where were we? How's it going? It's going slowly, Rifleman. We're doing the combat medic crafting grind. Which means this is going to be the most exciting stream you've ever seen. Honestly, I'm just doing this for my sanity. Because I would hate to do this by myself, so now I have you guys to keep me entertained. You thought you were tuning into this stream to be entertained, when in reality, you're tuning in to entertain me. It's like a reverse stream. <laughs> God, that's good. Could, like put a movie on or something we could all watch a movie together that would be great <laughs> too bad it would like not go over well when I port this over to YouTube this guy say something to me He's doing standing there. Okay, bro. Usually, whenever I have to do these crafting grinds, I don't usually do them all in one sitting. I try to break it up. Like, I might do a skill and a half, and then go do something else. The problem, though, is due to the nature of our little... our goal here of mastering all these professions, like, we kind of have an order that we have to do this in. So the only other thing that I could logically go do to break up the monotony of this crafting grind is the healing grind, <laughs> which is not really all that much more exciting. Plus, I'd have to find a burner. fun at work. Gorath has burners? Alright, let's go. What planet is that on again? That is on Tat, right? No, wait. Yes, over here. It's been so long. What's the prospective character limit that would be on Sun Crusher when that happens? Uh, I don't actually know the answer to that. I think most people and you know i hesitate to say most because who am i how do i know but um i would i would wager most people 
are hoping for anywhere from two to three characters. I've heard people want five. I've heard people that want one. Honestly, I think one is a little too harsh. Just because we don't have the same population that we had back in live. So I would be on board with either two or three. I think two is... Two is still a little harsh. I don't know. I, I could I could live with two. I could also live with three. Once you get to four, I think you become a little too self-sufficient. And it defeats the purpose of, you know, needing to rely on other people. You think three to four is the sweet spot? In my opinion, two is good, but three is comfortable. Yeah. See, I think most people could would be okay with three then. You owned two accounts on live. Honestly, if I was older back when this was live, I probably would have owned two accounts, too. I owned two accounts on EVE when I played that. Yeah, actually, I think my FPS loss might be because of the encoding that I'm using. I think maybe my streaming software had an update, and I think it might have tweaked the setting. Because it looks like my CPU is handling the encoding instead of the GPU. Because my GPU, GPU usage is only at like 20% right now, but my CPU usage is at like 90 Oh well, it's fine. I'm not doing anything that requires high FPS anyway. I'm not gonna bounce the stream again. Except I rubber banded. Eve, oh man, you played that for a month. It was fun but challenging. Yeah, I played it for a year and a half, maybe? About that. We were, uh, we were part of a corp that was part of an alliance that was at war. And even though we didn't fight, we were like a mining and production corp. So we would go mining, we would get resources, we would make ammo, and we were basically like arms dealers. We, would, we were supplying the fighters in the war with the bullets and ammo that they needed to fight. It was really fun, actually. All right. We got burners in here somewhere. Is there a burner? I don't see any burners. No. I've been, I've been had. There's no burners. All right, well. Rip us. I guess we just go back to crafting. Oh no, our inventory's been sorted. All right. If it's two, you think doctors and entertainers will be half the characters on the server? I don't know, see that's the thing. Like if you're only allowed to have two characters, then not everybody and their mother has a doctor alt or an entertainer alt that they can log in whenever they want. Like, doctors and entertainers are going to be sought after commodities, which is great. That's why one of my characters probably will be a doctor, just like my main was on here. Anyway, the Terrace Cassie Doctor is like my favorite combination. You really, you can't do a lot of damage, but dude, are you hard to kill. Um, and you're very useful in a group.
one character will be a mix of doctor and entertainer. See, the problem with doctor is if you want doctor, you need to master medic. So, doctor is a huge skill point investment. So if you're gonna go master doctor, you really only have enough skill points left to master just like basic entertainer, and you're not gonna have enough to get either an, or a dancer or musician. So it's impossible to be able to buff all four, like uh, not all four, all uh, six stats, at least to a high degree. You might be able to buff them each like slightly. But I don't know that that's going to really help anybody uh, come endgame. Yeah, Master Doctor is a huge investment. It's the same with Combat Medic. E either, uh, both Doctor and Combat Medic require Master Medic. So both of those professions, like, it, it requires mastering two professions. So it's really hard to pair them with anything. That's why I like TK with Doctor. Um, because, I mean, TK is, is really a utility profession. It's not a damage dealing profession. It does have a lot of defense. It could be, I guess it could be seen as a defensive profession. But really, like TK, you get a whole lot of state attacks and you get the ability to target all three uh, hand pools specifically. So you get a head hit, a leg hit, and a body hit. Whereas every other combat profession that I can run, think of off the top of my head you only get to target one hand pool. So, you, like, Rifleman can only target mind specifically. But if you're TK, since you get an attack that hits each pool, none of those attacks are very hard hitting. Like, a, a Rifleman can only hit mind, but their mind hit is strong. Like, it does a lot of damage. Um, so TK, I kind of look at it as a, like, a support profession. Um, cause you're not able to do a whole lot of damage, but it doesn't matter who you pair up with. If you pair up with a Rifleman, or a Pistolier, or a Carboneer, or a, whatever other profession you you join up with, you're able to target whatever pool they can target. I gun, or IG guns, thanks for the follow. Um, so that's why, like... Again, my, my main, Dr. TK, like, not only can I heal, but whoever I'm with, I can target the same hand pool as them. I'm, I'm not going to be able to hit as hard as them, but at least I'm hitting the same pool as them, which over, you know, long, prolonged fights uh, is a big deal. Yeah, well, yeah, most classes can target every pool, but not reliably. That's the whole point. Like, yeah, any range profession... Whoops. Uh, can use overcharge shot and hit every pool. Just the basic attack can hit every pool, but I'm talking about targeted attacks. And there's some exceptions to that too, like normally Pistolier gets body shot, but if you go like the pistol route in the bounty hunter profession, then you get that eye shot, I think, where it, it turns pistols into a mind hitting weapon. So, I mean, there's exceptions to what I'm saying. I'm speaking in very general terms. Hey, Nair. I am doing swell. How are you doing? Are we doing a lot better if there is a burner here?
All right, we just qualified for the next skill. Why not just tumble my alt? I don't think I have a macro. All right, let me. Somebody just messaged me. Actually, hold on. A tumble, tumble to kneeling. Oh yeah, okay, I could do that. So let me put him in a corner. I guess this works. Uh, what's the best place to do it? I guess I can put this on stream so you guys can see what I'm doing. A person who is a competent streamer would have done that automatically. Alright, so we're gonna write a macro. Actually, do I need to write a macro? Ah, screw it, let's do it. Alright. So, Tumb Mac. Going to be UI action toolbar slot, right? It's all capital S, I think. So we got zero zero one two three four five six zero six semicolon pause one. We'll try macro tumb mac. Let's just try that. Oh, I'm sorry. Please select an icon. We'll pick the little Hearthstone icon. Okay. Macro tumbed Mac. Yeah, all right, I guess that works. Okay. Uh, we're gonna mute his UI effects though, so that doesn't keep going off. Yeah, we'll just mute his sounds altogether. Now, take our trusty stim packs. I think we put them here, and I have a macro heels. It's a little too fast. I want to slow that down by one second. So, Heels, edit macro, change pause 5 to pause 6, and that should be good. And that's still a little too fast. Whoops, that's not the right one. Change it to eight. sucks that it's that slow, but that's the only way I'm going to get the most bang for my buck per stim. Alright, now, can I... How hard is it to craft with this macro going is, re is the real question now. Yeah, this might be a pain in the butt. Yeah, because every time he heals, it takes my mouse focus away.
Oh, let's see if I can time it. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. There we go. See, if I can time it to where either I'm on the resource select screen or my inventory screen, it works fine. Why don't I just load my tools on my bar when craft grinding? Why? How does that make it any easier? Less clicking? It's faster for me to click. I don't use a crafting macro at all, I do this all by hand, just pressing the enter key to cycle through all the phases. It's so much easier. I combine- yeah, I know, I combined a key to the toolbar slot, but what's the difference between hitting a key or double-clicking the mouse? Like, how much time are we saving here? We're talking about like half a second, if that. Oh, it's- it's absolutely personal. And I- I've, uh, I'm pretty sure in the crafting video that I made, like, five years ago, I put the crafting macro in the video description for people that want to use it. I just personally don't use it. I find it faster to do it the clicking way. Oh crap, I ran out of stims. See, this lets me keep my hand on the enter key, though, like my left hand. So I have my right hand on the mouse and my left hand on the enter key. So all I do is double-click the tool, I hit enter to choose the schematic. Double-click, double-click, enter, 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 enter. Next tool, enter. Double-click, double-click, enter, 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 enter. And it just, it just goes a lot quicker to me. Honestly, like, you could get into a groove. You resize and adjust every crafting window so you don't have to move your mouse. <laughs> See, everybody figured out a way to do it that works for them. I think it's easier to hit enter than it is to um, click on all the confirmation dialogues. And I don't like the macro because sometimes it desyncs and you have to like stop the whole thing or sometimes you might miss a cycle um, because the game had a hiccup or something and you know th then it, it throws the whole macro off. So, I doubt we'll hit Master Combat Medic today, but after that, um, we're gonna go for Swordsman.
I need to watch my XP and make sure I don't hit cap. Man, Mirkov, remember when I streamed uh, Skyrim and named my horse after you? Those were the good old days, man. Those were the days. Our noble steed, indeed. I'm gonna have to make more stim packs here, actually. We haven't hit cap yet. Well, we just certified for a healing skill. I forgot you had what? Stop for a sec. We gotta actually craft some stim packs. All right. So what do we need? First of all, what stim pack am I using? I'm using D's. Uh, I can only craft B's unless I get my droid out. So let's get the droid out. Okay. Now, if we want to craft small stim pack D's, what do we we need? We should have everything we need already, actually. Yeah, we want to use that. We want to use that. Use that. And we'll just keep using the same stuff we've been using. We'll actually experiment on these. We want charges. And make sure not to do this in practice mode. You think you broke it? Your Twitch crashed when you sent the Twitch Prime sub? Yeah, I didn't get a notification. But thank you. I can double check here in a second though. Maybe it went through. Let me check. Do, 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 do. 
No, I don't have a notification. The last notification I have was IG Guns following. Trying to catch up on some news real quick. Hold on. People just don't get it, man. Thanks, my young friend. Tilo, 1991. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Picked a very boring stream to join. <laughs> but we appreciate you joining anyway. Making stim packs. Here we go. I just missed another follow. Who was the second one? Zion. Zion. Apocalypse. Thank you for the follow. And Mirkov. Yeah. I, all right. I see your notification now. Here it the is. The boss will be with you always. Thanks for the sub, dude. I don't know why it didn't go through the first time. Oh, hello. What did I just do? Ugh. Basically broke the stream is what I did. Uh, I can't use this biological effect controller. I have to use these now. Should be enough for now. So now let's get rid of the droid. Are we? We're still not capped, are we? Nope. All right, let's dump our macro. Let's have Kettler dump his macro. Let's group. Because I'm sure there's some training that can be done here. Teach. Alright, what do we need? We need advanced combat medicine crafting. Yes. And alright, we're about a third of the way to expert already. Hey Revan, yeah, grinding combat medic. Um, what else do we need? This doesn't really matter. We'll just get expert ranged healing speed that will boost our cap. Let's put that in here. Master ranged healing speed is our other target. Alright. So we have macro heals going. And him, macro tumb of Mac. Perfect. Whoops, almost forgot practice mode. Oh. How did I get enabled? 
Okay. And we're back. Is there any hope it's for PvP? Uh, probably not. It's actually for trying to master every profession on one tune. I've actually already got a master combat medic. He's the one that's tumbling in front of me. See? This is he. Combat medic and rifleman. This one, however, is a wreck. I don't know what I'm doing with this tune. I did already master Polly, actually. This tune is already master politician. Look at that. Hey, solo caller. Did I reach the title Jedi Knight on my Jedi? No. No, I did not. I've I've abandoned hope on my Jedi for now. Um, I honestly, I don't know that I'm gonna play it again. Um, even with, with the inevitable wipe now a little bit closer. Um, I'm definitely not, you know, amongst the people that complain about losing stuff for a wipe. But man, that Jedi grind is a grind, and I'm not gonna do it just to have it taken away from me. You couldn't even make it through the village? I've made it through the village. I got Padawan. Maybe I'll do a Jedi stream now, you know. As it, you know what, when they announce the um, the new server, you know, it's probably gonna be like a year and a half or something ridiculous. It's, it's gonna be a long time from now still. But when they finally do announce the new server, I'll, I'll start grinding Jedi. Or I'll start uh, streaming Jedi. I know people have asked me to do that, but you know, with the system the way it is, like it's so dumb. Uh, for somebody to stream their Jedi because stream sniping is a thing, you know, and Jedi is a profession that gets visibility when, you know, based on people seeing you use your abilities and attacking with a lightsaber and stuff. Are you guys kidding me? Like, as soon as I start streaming Jedi, you know, the very first thing that's going to happen is some dude's going to, you know, roll up on me and try to get me on the bounty hunter terminals. Like, I'm not dumb. That's why people want me to stream. Yeah, see? Exactly. So that's why I haven't done it yet. But the other reason is I just haven't been playing my Jedi. I don't think I've logged into that tune in like six months. I definitely haven't touched it since I left for Oklahoma back in May. So... It's probably been close to half a year since I've been on that tune. No, I'm done the Padawan Trials. I've... I've you know, I'm actually... I'm a... I guess I'm just a Padawan, right? Um, but I only have like one or two skills. Like I did not spend a whole lot of time. I think I have like double bladed lightsaber one and maybe double light bladed lightsaber two, but that's it. Like I did not get very far at all. Can't you grind outside the village system and convert the points? The whole converting the points thing is the village system. That's how you become a Padawan. 
But once you become a Padawan, you have to kill things with force powers or with your lightsaber in order to get actual Jedi XP. So the village is all about force sensitive XP. But once you become a Jedi, force sensitive XP doesn't do anything for you. It's all Jedi XP. And the only way to get Jedi XP is to risk getting visibility by attacking with your lightsaber and using force powers. Hey, Grave. Grave Ant Eater. I like the name. Sorry, actually, I'm gonna have to stop here and put something on stream. It makes me laugh. One of my favorite pictures on the internet. <laughs> Yo, fuck you, I'm an ant eater. <laughs> it's been one of my favorite pictures, like, forever. So, good name. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I, got, I fell behind on chat there. Um, can I ask if your Jedi is part of the Great Empire? No. I don't actually think he's part of any uh, faction currently. Village is only hard because of the time it takes to rotate? That's not the only reason. Well, I guess the word hard. It's not hard because it has to rotate, and it's not hard because the it's not hard at all. Maybe some of the quests are hard, like the Phase 3 melee accuracy quest, that's pretty hard. Uh, the Phase 4 quests, the combat quests, can be hard if you don't have a group. Um, but I would, like, just the fact that the grind is so long, you need so much XP. Doesn't make it hard, it makes it daunting. Like, when you, when you decide you're gonna become a Jedi in Galaxies, like, you, you have to know what you're signing up for. Solo Empire ad here. Be a part of something. Join the Empire. Explore new worlds. Learn valuable skills. Bring order and unity to the galaxy. Maybe. We'll see. Do you have dental? to your progress should be your uncontrollable laziness and attention span. You know, alright, I'm gonna make a promise to you guys. 
This is this promise. I'm gonna bear this promise in the middle of the most boring live stream I've ever done. All right. Here's a promise, a Mobius One promise that you guys are the only ones that are ever gonna hear about it because nobody else is gonna watch this live stream. All right. Here's the promise. Sometime in the distant, distant future, after I've retired from working, and you know I'm still gaming away whenever that is 30 or whatever years in the future if swg emu is still going at that point which most likely it won't be but if it is i will start working on a new private server that we will call like the moby server or some shit and we will have our own custom Jedi system that doesn't require a long, tedious grind that, you know... I'll, I'll, we can all agree on some system that works for everybody. And that server will be the grandest server of all time. You will not be limited by your uncontrollable laziness or attention span. Probably shouldn't make that promise. Sounds like NGE. <laughs> let's get into real talk here since this is boring. That's the. Yeah, let's do it. This is obviously something that does not need my full attention. Also clipped. Jedi can't really be added properly any way you do it. I mean, it's true. In 30 years, you'll be around 70 if I make that server you'll play. Alright, good to know. I mean, in 30 years, I'll be 60, so I'm not that far behind you. The whole basis of the class is to mess with the order of things. Yeah, I mean, it's an alpha class. We, we've had the discussion before about how there shouldn't be an alpha class in an MMO. But I kind of like Raph Koster's idea of being having a Jedi is kind of like a minigame. Where as you get stronger and stronger, um, you have like this hidden value that's like your wanted level. And then like... As you reach certain milestones with your wanted level, certain NPCs show up to attack you. You know how, like, the Sith... when You, you know how when you first get glowy, the old man pops up, like, on a random timer? Imagine if after, like, way after you've, you know, finished your template or whatever, you have some other status that's kind of like the glowy status. Um, but you can't check it. So you don't know, like, where you are on that, on that rank, on that scale yet. But every time you hit a certain threshold, the game starts a random timer where they're going to send someone after you. And the higher you go, the more of these people you defeat, the stronger and stronger they get. So it might start off with just like a regular bounty hunter. Then, you know, once you reach a certain point, it might be Boba Fett. And if you manage to get past Boba Fett, obviously you won't kill him. He would like flee or something. Um, eventually, it gets to the point where Darth Vader himself comes and kills you because you're not going to be able to defeat Darth Vader like it's it's stacked so that you cannot win and like you lose your Jedi at that point and the mini game is over and maybe like the game keeps track of how many PvP PvP kills you got or you know all the different stuff that the game could actually be tracking while you were a Jedi and then gives you a score and you can compare that score to other people that become Jedi Something like that. So that the focus is not like getting Jedi and keeping it. It's like getting Jedi and then just doing as best as you can while you're a Jedi in a galaxy where Jedi, you know, it's it's supposed to be tough to be one. Sorry, I didn't read any chat during that entire monologue. <laughs> Retired at 60? Dream much? Hey, I am an air traffic controller. We have mandatory retirement at 55. So, there's that. My music stopped. Finally awake, are you? 
are you? You've been out a full week. You were found unconscious in the ravine near Narende. I take it that was your home? Narende? I must ask you to stay calm. Your village is gone. A great chasm opened in the earth and all of Narende was swallowed up in darkness. You've had worse odds, you'll slap Vader around. I thought you were Imperial. Now you're gonna slap Poppy Vader? If he comes for you, there will be a change in management. Hey Swift, how far am I in the Jedi grind? We were just talking about that. I am not very far at all. I have like only one or two skills. I haven't played on my Jedi in like six months. <laughs> Don't blame me one bit. Honestly, it's something that I'd like to do on the play server, Sun Crusher, or whatever they decide to name it when it comes out. It's I'll probably try going for it, um, but we'll see. Actually, really close to expert crafting. Any one of these now is going to do it. There it is. All right, we've got one skill to go. I think we can do it. You got a cool idea that you're sure no one will do, but it would be unique, and that you're sure no one does it. What's your idea, or do you not want to share it because it's so unique? Lots of people have now mastered every profession, but get this master each profession, but you have to kill someone with that master profession in your template to move on. Wait a minute, say that again? Lots of people now have mastered every profession, but get this. Master each profession, but you have to kill someone with that master profession in your template to move on. So how does the first person master that profession then? It's kind of like... Imagine... Like, like... It's like being able to be trained by other players. Yeah, like a master doctor can teach you me uh, doctor skills. 
but how did that master doctor, like, who trained him, he had to get it from the NPC. So if you have to kill somebody of a certain profession to become a master of that profession, how's the first person get it? He's saying if you choose Doc, you can't move to the next profession until you get a PvP kill as a master Doc. Oh god no. That's... no! You have to get a kill with each mastery before you move on to another? No, that's a terrible idea. I have no... I have no combat... oh, you mean like a Doc versus... well... Hmm. I see what you're saying. But still, no. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. Because I would have to find somebody who's like a doctor who's willing to fight. Who isn't also ridiculous. <laughs> then I can say I did it, but everybody, or who cares? I care, man. I want a screenshot of my bio with every profession badge. And then after that, they can wipe the server and I can still be happy. I do remember the combat ends from NGE. Honestly, it makes a little bit of sense that an entertainer might have unarmed combat skills. Or even melee combat skills, like, you know, you got those dancers, that, like sword dancers and stuff. Like fire dancers. I don't think that's too big of a stretch. No, Oblivion, I, I get your point. I just think that's a lot more work than I'm willing to put in. <laughs> I can say that I have, it doesn't mean that I've done it. Yeah, let's not and say we did. It is a unique idea. It's not one that I'm willing to put the time into doing. Alright, so let's say a new server comes online and you guys are limited to two characters. What kind of builds would your two characters be? Let's leave Jedi out for now and say that your two characters have to be combinations of professions other than Jedi. What would they be? Melee stacker with range mitt would be OP at first because no dots. Doc not needed.
Master Swords Pistolier 0040 slash Rest and Doctor and probably a Combat Medic. My main would probably be Pike Combat Medic because reasons. Bringing people together in chat. I already said earlier that my main would be TKM Doc. I haven't really thought much about what I want to do in my second. I mean, it'd probably be make, make more sense to go combat. Like a combat medic or something. No, I haven't played Remnant, but I have a co-worker who was big into it. Um, is that, this is the game that just came out that's like Dark Souls with guns, right? Yeah, no, I've, I watched some videos of it, and like I said, I had a co-worker who's been talking to me about it, but I haven't actually played it. Is it, is it good? I heard it had a pretty buggy launch or or beta or something where like there was a bug where the boss couldn't be beaten or something. You bought it two days ago after some patches. That makes sense. Yeah, my coworker seems to really like it. I might get it. There's so- there are actually a lot of good games coming out in the near future. Well, I say good games, but of course we don't know if they're actually any good until we get them. Um, we got Cyberpunk, Borderlands 3, uh, I'm really curious about the Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, still waiting on a release date for Halo Master Chief Collection on PC. Please don't talk about Borderlands 3, why not? Oh, the Epic Games launcher crap? Yeah, dude, just wait until April. Right? That's what the Steam release is. Oblivion, I'm inclined to agree with you. Um, for those watching that can't read chat, it's... Uh, to be honest, I think Fallen Order will be pretty good, even coming from EA, because this is really their last chance at a Star Wars game if they fuck it up hard like Battlefront 2 launch. Uh, that's it. I'm... I'm very much agree with that. 
They better pull something out of their ass with this or like they're gonna lose all trust in the community. What little trust they have left is gonna be gone. But honestly, from what we've seen, it looks good. It looks kind of like a reskinned Force Unleashed, but at the same time it looks good. And from what I understand, it's gonna be kind of roguelike-ish. Or not roguelike-ish, um, Metroidvania-ish. Where you can like go back to places that you've already been to after you've unlocked new powers and like explore new areas. So that whole concept sounds really cool to me. Gameplay for Fallen Order really turned you off. Looked like God of War with Star Wars. I don't know why that's a bad thing, though. God of War was apparently a really good game. I've never played a God of War game. But yeah, back to uh, the whole Master Chief collection and, like, people on PC getting modding tools and Forge and stuff, like... It's gonna be awesome. Like, I can't wait. I was such a huge Halo fan in high school. Um, there was a point where, like, I had read every Halo book. I knew all the lore and stuff, and eventually it got a little out of control, and I haven't really been on top of it since 343 took over. But, um, yeah, I'm really pumped for that. And definitely plan on doing playthroughs of all the games for my YouTube. EA doesn't need to make good games, they have enough marketing to sell enough copies, all their sports titles work great even if it's recycled microtransaction simulators. True. Oh, and the new Call of Duty looks surprisingly good. I played like every Call of Duty game from COD 2 up until... Advanced Warfare? Infinite Warfare? One of them. I don't even remember which one it was, but I skipped the last two Call of Duties. The last two really, like, did nothing for me. But this new COD actually looks legit. You used to compete in TWL with Halo. I used to compete in TWL with COD 4. Those were the days. The only AAA game you're actually excited for is Cyberpunk. I am excited for that game too. That is one of them on my list. The Outer Worlds looks cool as well. I feel like that, that sounds familiar, but I'm not sure what that is. gonna be like oh a new space RPG from Obsidian it's gonna be like Fallout yeah that sounds interesting I was really hyped for uh, what is it Bethesda's 
I always mess up the name. What was it? Starfall? Or something like that? But like... Dude, everything Bethesda's been doing lately has just been shit. It actually makes me really worried. Starfield, that's what it is. I always call it Starfield, or Starfall, but it's Starfield. Like, I just imagine like a Skyrim in space, but it's not gonna be that. It's not gonna be that. I'm not getting my hopes up. Yeah, I did play Elite Dangerous for a little bit. I haven't played it in a very long time, and I do have a couple people on my Discord that would be very happy. I don't want to say that. I can't speak for them. I have people on my Discord that play Elite Dangerous pretty regularly that would be uh, willing, I should say, to fly with me if I ever decide to go back to it. But it's been a long time. Yeah, I know they keep adding a lot. I saw they added the ability to, like, land on planets with, like, a little rover or something. Uh, that's, I know they added that a while ago, too, but I haven't played since that. Um, it's It's been, a, like I said, quite a, long, quite a long time. And even the No Man's Sky update that just came out, like, I've been wanting to go back and check that out. Because apparently No Man's Sky has made a, sh a bunch of progress. And is apparently a good game now, from what I hear. I'm gonna make more stims. I need the droid. Yeah, see? No Man's Sky is actually a good game these days. I, I kind of want to reinstall it and give it a shot. Because I played that at launch and man was that disappointing. Spaceship part is horrible. No Man's Sky is really good. It's kind of like Minecraft and space, but there's a lot to do. Actually, ironically, I've been playing Minecraft lately. Uh, one of my personal friends just set up a private server that um, me and a couple people have been fooling around on just to kind of burn time. Did I ever play the Mega Man Battle Network? No, I did not. Um, yeah, Mirkov. No, I haven't played ED since Vanilla. So yeah, I missed a lot. No Man's Sky looks too cartoonish. It, yeah, it's got that stylized art, but it doesn't bother me. Uh, glad that Hello Games actually fixed No Man's Sky, but you can't forgive them for outright lying and misleading. It would have been fine if they told us before they couldn't make things work in the current time frame. Yeah, that too. Um, but the fact that they've released every update and the, the size of the updates they've released for free, I think kind of makes up for it at least a little bit. You can kind of become a creature handler in No Man's Sky. 
I did see people like riding creature mounts in the trailer for the new update. I do agree with you, Mirkov. They did kind of outright lie to us leading up to the release of the game because, um, what was the dude's name? Sean Murray. I think that's his name, right? Sean Murray. That sounds right. Um, he had said that, like, it was like, it's going to be nearly impossible for people to meet up in game. And we kind of took that as, like, a challenge, me and a couple of my friends. So when the game came out, we, we got it with the intent of trying our damnedest to uh, meet up with each other in-game. And apparently it wasn't nearly impossible, it was actually impossible because, what was it, like two days after launch or something? People, uh, like two streamers were streaming themselves in the exact same area, but they couldn't see each other or interact with each other at all. So, yeah. But apparently now you can actually meet up and interact with people, so I don't know. I think it'd be it warrants a second look, in my opinion. Ah oh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna put practice mode back on. There we go. Oh wait, no, we're capped! How long have we been capped on crafting XP? No! No! Train me! There we go. That's it. We're we're close. We only have half a crafting skill left to go. We're so gonna do this. Mirkov asks, "Have I played Tech It, dude? I played Tech It a long time ago, like a long ass time ago, and I was never very good at it. See, my my huge thing, and this goes." You know, with every game that I play, my biggest draw to a game is exploration. So when I play Minecraft, like, I know people can make some ridiculous shit in Minecraft. That's not me. <laughs> like, oh shoot, I'm getting way confused here. Um, I'm not really a builder in Minecraft. I'm more of, like, a scout. Like, I like to, whether it's on the surface or underground in, like, a tunnel or a mine shaft or something, I'm the person that just, like, goes and charts out areas or maybe even, like, does some resource gathering and then brings it back and lets other people deal with the rest of the stuff. Hey, Pooch. You didn't get a notification? Thanks for the cheer. So, yeah, so Tech It didn't really offer all that much for me because... Building all that crazy stuff is never really the draw for me. Grimswell, most of what they added to No Man's Sky is what they promised originally. Yeah, that's true. Make an SWG homies pirate crew in ED steal people's booty. Tech it added space exploration? No, I did not know that. Thanks, Pooch. I tried my best to uh, shine as much positive light on it as I could, but you know how it works. The uh, people who are displeased or dissatisfied with something are always louder than the people that are pleased or satisfied, so... Most of the people that are going to be commenting on that video or commenting on the forum thread are going to be the people that are complaining about it. 
I just hope the devs know uh, how many people actually agree with their choice and are looking forward to a new server, whether it's got Jump to Lightspeed on it or not. Answer complaint here. Yeah. Exactly. It's the same thing with, like, with anything, with, like, restaurant reviews or movie reviews. Like, when you go to a restaurant and you have a good experience, like, unless the experience is really good, like, unbelievably good to the point where you're like, whoa, we need to, like, review this place so other people know how good it is. Like, if it's, if it's just, like, a satisfactory experience, you're not going to go online and, like, write a Yelp review because you had a good experience at a restaurant. But, like... If you have a bad experience at a restaurant, you, there's a good chance that you're going to go online and bitch about it on the internet so other people don't go there because you're pissed at how that you spent money and got a bad experience. So, like, reviews in that sense are kind of skewed towards the negative side of things. Um, and that's just the case with everything. That's how people, how humans are. Yeah, bring on Suncrusher. Can't wait. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get the skill. This was our goal for today: was to finish the crafting grind, and I'm gonna do it. By Jove, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you have a Twitter account for publicly calling out companies when their customer service doesn't help me. That was literally the only reason you had a Twitter. <laughs> That's pretty funny, and proves my point. So thank you. Dude, I have a Twitter. I don't think I've signed into my Twitter in like five years. That's just a number I pulled from the top of my head. I have no idea how long it's actually been, but it's been a long ass time. I'm pretty sure actually the only reason I signed into my Twitter the last time is because somebody sent me a message. Like, somebody found, like, I guess just searched my name and found it and sent me a tweet. So I had to sign in to, like, reply to it. And I'm like, dude, I don't use Twitter. You only use it to follow development projects you're interested in? It's a good reason. You don't like Ubisoft, Mirkov? What did they do to make you an enemy for life? This ought to be good. Hatred for Ubisoft has become a running joke in your circle of friends because we run in customer service rep named Trevor. What did Trevor do? So when someone is being insufferable, it's known to you as being Trevor? Oh, it's poor Trevor. Poor Trevor, what did he do? I gotta know. Did he not refund you because you spent money on a game you didn't want? I 
Have I played uh, Battlefront 2 at all post-launch? It's gotten better? No, I really haven't. But I, I follow some of the updates on that too. I know they, the Geonosis map looked pretty cool, um, and I saw that they're adding Republic Commandos as reinforcement units, which seems pretty cool. Did they ever add Droidicas, by the way? They did add Droidicas? That's pretty badass. Did they ever add any new space maps? Because the Starfighter battles were where my, where I had most of my fun, but I never hear anything about them adding new Starfighter mode or Starfighter, yeah, mode maps. Pooch, you gotta go. No problem, dude. Um, not too much longer. I've already been streaming for quite a while. I don't know exactly how long it's been, but probably gonna wrap it up here within the next hour or so. I really just want to finish this uh, combat medic crafting grind. Basically, they put out a patch that broke the game for me and a bunch of other people. You had bought a timed boost before it happened. You lost your boost because the game was literally unplayable. Uh, you just asked for your time back, that's all, and he told me that he doesn't have the systems to add to inventory, which is obviously a lie. Yeah. That does sound rather unfortunate. And the clone commanders are going to be the Republic's counter to the Droidica? I would hope so. So, not to give away spoilers or anything, but I've already been recording um, episodes for my Republic Commando series on YouTube. And I've forgotten how beefy they made super battle droids in that game. Like, you're, you're a four-man commando team. And it takes, like, concentrated fire from all four of you to take out one SBD. Like, that's crazy and then you go and play another game like battlefront 2 and like they just die and you're like oh okay i guess <laughs> they made them dwb thick yeah that's true i guess they're not quite as tanky as they are in galaxies that's a fair point they're tanky but they're not as wg tanky Alright, Pooch, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time. They did make it look super easy in Clone Wars. Come to think of it, do we ever actually see... Oh, well, I guess in the animated Clone Wars we do, but in the movies, do we ever see a clone trooper take out a super battle droid? I don't think we do. If we do, it's probably in, like, the background of some shot. But we never actually see a clone take out an SPD. I have the Star Wars mod for Arma 3 Opposition. Actually, I'll tell you what. Since you guys have been such swell people... Um, actually, that's probably not a good idea. The music I used in the video is copyrighted, so I'd probably get yelled at for showing it. I was going to show you a video that um, is not a public video. It was a really old video. There was a time where I was working on a Arma 3 custom mission using that Star Wars mod that I had planned on playing with a group of friends and then recording it and putting it on YouTube. 
but um, something came up. I don't remember what took me away from it before I was able to finish it. But um, before that happened, I actually put so much time into it that I made a trailer for it to hype my friends. Um, but since it was like literally just meant for my friends, I never posted the video publicly on my YouTube. I did actually, it's on my Patreon, so if anyone's ever like a patron on my Patreon, you could watch it, but I don't even think I have the mission file for it anymore, so I don't think I can ever finish it. Guys, we're super close. We need... We need less than 2,000 XP. We can do it! We just have to keep going. Takes four to five shots from a DC-15 to stop them in the Arma mod. You know what Arma 3 mod I actually like better than the Star Wars one is the Halo one. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's really cool to play Arma and have it, you know, Star Wars. But I think just like the Halo mod kind of works better, like it feels better than the Star Wars one. Like, I don't know. Oh, and Clone Wars. Especially since they added Spartans to the Halo mod, like it's so cool. I just wish they had more health. Like, I know Arma doesn't have, like, regenerating shields or anything, so they should have given the Spartans a little bit more health or, like, made their armor a lot stronger. Because, uh, they definitely take more hits than a regular soldier, but not quite enough in my opinion. They're a little too squishy. Yeah, trebuchet. Oh, that's it! We're done! We did it! Whew. I can rel relax my hand. Ugh. Teach Master Combat Medicine Crafting. Boom. Look at that. Ugh. Yes! We did it! We got all three of these, plus this, and all of this progress towards that, just, just today. I'm just gonna stare at it now. Um, so yeah, the question is what do I want to do next? 
Because I could just leave this dude AFK basically and grind out the rest of this healing session. I don't imagine you guys want to sit here and stare. Let's see if there's been any more comments on the EMU forums about the JTL news. Couple YouTube comments. <laughs> Somebody commented all master shipwrights should become blue glowies. See, most people are actually very understanding about the whole change. Like, they understand that releasing 1.0 and Suncrusher early is not, you know, delaying JTL at all. That JTL is going to take a long time to come out regardless. Um, that it allows the team to start working on other things. I don't know, it's just, it makes so much more sense. This has to easily have been the most boring stream I think I've ever done, even more so than like black sun hunting. Pretty sure most viewers come for the chats than the gameplay. I hope so. here for the crafting. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but the crafting is done. No more crafting. Um, yeah, so what do we want to do now? I mean, how long has it been? I don't even know how long I've been live. It's almost been two hours. Time for me to stream the Master Weaponsmith grind? Dude, I know I have to do Weaponsmith, Armorsmith, Architect, Tailor, Chef. Oh, what else? The Spice grind for Smuggler, Bioengineer. Ugh, what am I missing? What am I missing? Droid Engineer. And a little bit in Ranger, right? Like Scout Ranger. That's it.
What am I doing all those for? Before Basilisk is, you know, shut down or wiped or whatever, I had a dream of one day having every profession badge in my player bio. So, it's kind of a race to see if I can somehow get every profession badge mastered on one tune before 1.0. It's probably not going to happen. <laughs> you crazy? I love you, man, but you crazy. Yeah, I know. I refuse to do the Jedi grind. Like, I'm not going to be playing on my Jedi, and I'm not I'm not trying to, like, get full temp on my Jedi. But I'll, I'm definitely crazy enough to try this. Don't let your dreams just be dreams. Do it! So, let's see. What do I have already? See, because look at all these badges. Look at all these badges that I have. How cool would it be to also have all the profession badges? So, I have... Tereskasi, Doctor, Medic, and Politician! <laughs> That's it! I have four! Oh, I have to do Shipwright! Holy crap, I forgot about Shipwright. Ugh! Mm, I'm sorry. But you still have, like, at least a year. You still have a lot of time. I just... I only have, like, one or two Jedi skills, so it's not really worth it for me. Mirkov, you need the Star Wars stream in your life. Well, what if I what if I start streaming the Old Republic? Would you still watch, or will that be will I have betrayed you? Ship right. Oh, ship right. I see. Before bass ends, I need to PvP at least once. But, like... Alright. I mean... I can tell you right now how it's gonna end. I'm gonna lose. There we go. Do we really need to do the whole stream for that? <laughs> like, there we go. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Ugh. I gotta figure out what I'm doing for dinner. Oh, now it's a team thing. We're not talking about 1v1s. So you want me to PvP as part of a team. I see. Well, that does complicate it a little bit. Man-eater. Yeah, 1v1s, 
is like a rock, paper, scissors, like... But see, so much is also gear-based. Like, if you don't... If somebody's got dot weapons, and you don't have the ability to either inflict dots on them, or cure the dots that they put on you... Like, it's totally one-sided. Yeah, you need a dock 3xxx tune and you can't participate, is sad truth. Yep, and I just gave up dock, so I'm SOL. Let me see, do I still have any dock skills? I don't think I do. Nope. No doctor skills. What do I have? So, still master medic, obviously. Combat medic is here. I gave up most of Terras Kasi already. I've got Marksman, uh, range support for it because I need that for Combat Medic. And then Brawler, so I still have the Unarmed from TK. So I have to try to figure out the best way to do this. Because I really don't want to do this Unarmed grind again. So, it makes sense to give up TK. And then I should try to go Commando and Smuggle. You need Master Marksman for Commando, right? Yeah. Okay, so when I'm done with combat medic, what do you need in medic still? So I still need the crafting for bioengineer. What else do you need for bioengineer? You just need hunting and scout. Okay. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not hard to get the organic chemistry tree. I mean, we just got three skills that require a lot more crafting than these. I can knock this out in like an hour, hour and a half maybe. Um, they should add a list of balance changes they want to make before launching Sun Crusher, then launch with those exact changes. Can't imagine how terrible it would be for people to farm OP dots in the beginning and then later the drops get nerfed to, uh, or future dots get nerfed, leaving a lot of people with nutty dots who got there first. That is definitely true. Um, that's another reason why, you know, we're so we're still so far away from the new server. Because there's still so much that needs to be decided before we're ready to move on to that. Um, like, changes like that need to be decided on. Number of tunes need to be decided on. There's, there's a lot. I'd like to see ADKs removed, personally. I could be in support of two things. I think either... ADKs removed completely, or, which I doubt will ever happen, or ADKs are made untradeable, kind of like a flash speeder deed. Have you ever tried to uh, trade a flash speeder? It doesn't let you. So just take whatever code that is that doesn't let you trade a flash speeder and put it on an ADK. That solves just about all of the same problems. Also, ejection on the Ackley in the Geo Cave, or uh, random Ackley spawns on the surface of Yavin. We've talked about that in the past too. I don't. I don't know why they 
they can't just take, you know, when you craft a piece of Mandalorian armor or a jetpack in the DWB, as soon as that item is done being crafted, the game kicks your whole group out of the DWB back to the entrance so that if you want to make another piece, you have to go through the whole bunker again. There's no reason that same system can't be applied to the Geocave, where after you kill the Ackley and loot the Ackley, when the corpse disappears, the group that had loot rights gets ejected from the de from the Geocave. Like, that's like a no-brainer to me. No, you can't do no DK. Make it NGK... Make an NGE no ADKs because no decay, but add in Mastercrafting? Well, I mean, what's your idea of Mastercraft? No, see, I still don't like that. You need decay because you have crafting professions. The whole point is items have to wear out over time so that the combat people have to go back to the crafters for replacements or repairs. Like, that's the whole idea. So you need to keep Decay in. Alright, well, refresh my memory. What was Master Crafting, then? Um... An appearance tab would be a thing that I, I could get behind. You know, it is nice to be able to look at somebody and tell what they're wearing just at a glance. Um, but if you had the ability to, like, examine someone, you know how, like, you can pull up somebody's examine window and see what they're actually wearing, not just what they appear to be wearing? I think that would be fair. Um, but... A lot of people, I think an appearance tab is a thing that a lot of people re request, but they don't consider that if that's all that you add is the ability to make yourself appear to be wearing different clothes than you actually are, that that, that breaks the game uh, quite a bit because then when you're fighting somebody, you don't know like if that person's wearing armor or not. So you need a way to be able to tell what somebody's wearing. You can make any weapon or armor you want viable. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that either. You assume everyone has the best because why wouldn't they? Because that's not how it works. It shouldn't, it shouldn't work like that, though. I would rather there be no appearance tab than have it to where people can make themselves appear to be wearing anything, but not have the option to see what somebody's actually wearing. It's a great outlook on how to PvP. Just assume everyone is better than you in going into it and try harder. I mean, I guess that is that is one philosophy. I can't argue that. I don't really agree with it, but that is one way to look at it. I guess I can move this chat to be actually in front of me so I don't have to keep looking at my other monitor. There are so many weapons in pre-CU that aren't viable, especially in PvP, but are so cool. Yeah, I mean, definitely do something with them, but to, like, make them all viable? Like, they should all be viable in a certain situation. It shouldn't be, like... 
every gun is equal, so use whatever gun you want. Um, like the damage type thing, it should be. I think I think there should be more of a rock paper scissors meta with armor and damage types. So you should have more weapons that can do different types of damage. So like if you have like your regular blaster does energy damage, so people have energy armor that might be weak against cold. But then there's cold weapons that you know whatever. I don't I don't actually know where I was going with this, but. Like there should be there should be a balance, right? Like you need you need a profession that can use like certain weapon types. So when you look at somebody, you can say, oh, they're wearing padded armor, so I need to hit them with this weapon, or they're wearing composite armor, I need to hit them with this weapon. That way, when you get a group of people together for PvP, you can assign people to different roles or have people wear different armor types to like reduce their overall weaknesses like that is how you do it not oh we'll just make every weapon viable like that's that's the easy way out Now I moved the chat into the same window as my game, and now I can't read chat while I'm playing. It's a lose-lose, man. It's a lose-lose. No weapon should be effective against all armors and vice versa. That is true. Taking a Tuscan rifle against a commando was a bad time. Yeah, so so the, the problem isn't really that you need to make all weapons viable. The problem is you need to make all armor viable. The problem with the current system is that composite armor is hands down the best armor in the game. Now, why is that the case? I don't actually know. Is it simply because you can make it have high resistances to every damage type? Maybe that's the problem. Maybe... Um, maybe composite armor, and I'm not, you know, I haven't looked into this, so my suggestions are bullshit suggestions, but just like, for example, maybe if you lower the highest, um, that, like, heat resistance can be on composite armor to, to 10%, then people will stop wearing 10, or people will stop wearing composite armor because heat weapons will become a thing. What you guys seem to be confused about is thinking that every is identically, which is not what the system did. The system made it so that crafters could craft any appearance of weapon or armor up to a high level. Okay. But then how do you know... How do you know what weapon someone's using then? 
Like right now, if I look at someone and I see them holding a T21, I know that's a T21. But you're saying they could craft any... by looking at the weapon? So you're saying that, like, they could take a launcher pistol and make a launcher pistol as strong as a T-21, but it will still be a launcher pistol. Yeah, alright, I guess that's fine. I don't know, like, this This is the kind of stuff that you need, like, a systems designer for. And honestly, like, this is the kind of stuff that I enjoy designing. Like, if I were to join the team, which I'm not going to because I don't have the kind of time needed to, to dedicate to that kind of thing. But this is the kind of stuff that I actually have fun working on. Like, I would gladly sit in a Discord with other people and talk about, like, okay, how can we make weapons and armor more balanced and just kind of, like, brainstorm ideas. Like, this stuff is fun for me. But it's hard. Especially because people get behind their ideas and, you know, will railroad their idea to no end. The particle effects from the weapon should make it obvious what type of damage the weapon does. See, that's a good idea, too. Like, what about blaster color? Like, blue lasers are cold damage. Red lasers are energy damage. Flame, like, f fireballs are heat damage. See, that's... that, Grim. now you're thinking like an art designer. Which is equally important. The art or animation needs to convey information. I watch a shitload of like Game Maker's Toolkit videos on YouTube. Like game design was a thing that like uh, is what I... Oh, you're a graphic designer. There you go. So I'm... What am I telling you for? Do I remember the Reaper Carbine from the Imperial Faction? No, I don't think so. <sighs> I gotta wrap this up soon though, I'm getting tired. Oh, I do remember something like that. You could disassemble weapons and give the blueprints to a crafter and then like make like a better version of it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. That's that's an interesting idea. Alright guys, I gotta wrap this up. I'm gonna have, um, let's have Kettler here teach me this master skill. Uh, can I not? Oh, there we go. There we go, combat medic. 1440, baby. We've only got two branches to go. I'm gonna let my dude sit here and grind this out for a little bit off stream. 
Um, so hopefully by the time I do my next stream, I'll be able to train Master Combat Medic. Because uh, I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch me do this. Because I'm not really doing anything. So, but I'm going to end the stream here now, guys. It was really fun talking to everybody. Um, it's been almost a month since my last stream. So, maybe we'll try to make it only a couple weeks for the next one. I'm going to be out of town next weekend, though. So, definitely not streaming then, but maybe the weekend after. We'll see. But, yeah. Alright guys, thank you again for hanging out and keeping me awake during this. It's a lot more fun doing this grind with people to talk to, especially you Mirkov. You're a very entertaining character. <laughs> you, you are indeed a steed. I think you scared everyone away. Nah, they're there. Alright, thanks again guys. I'm ending the stream now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all on YouTube.